Hey everybody, Alex here with Tamarindo Boards. We're going to go over three different products today. Uh, first is the Boost Fin. Uh, this just started shipping in 2022. Uh, the next one is the E-Fin or Electric Fin from Tamarindo Boards. Uh, we've been selling and distributing this product since 2019. And then we have the Aquamarine E-Fin uh, as well. We're going to open up each one of these, kind of show you what's in the, the contents, talk about some of the pros and cons of each one, uh, price points. And then we're going to do a little bit of testing on the water and see which one holds up the best. First up, we're going to open up the boost fin here. Let me move these to the side. Uh, the boost fin comes with a nice package. Uh, they just started shipping in spring of 2022 in the United States. Uh, we've already opened this one and done a little playing with it, but you get a nice uh, adapter here uh, that fits a bunch of different adapters. You have your wrist controller, which is usually just two buttons, a slow boost and a high boost. You have a little magnetic screwdriver for turning the unit on and off. And then you get a uh, power cord in here that has a US and a European style adapter for it. Boost fin, uh, nice and sleek. It's all one unit, so the battery is housed inside the unit here. There's no additional battery box like the other two units. That's one of the big pros. Uh, pretty lightweight. Uh, we'll go over all the specs later. You have a charging port here uh, in the back of the boost fin. And then you have your different adapters, and they have a bunch of different adapter styles on their website to fit different types of fin boxes. Uh, the boost fin is mainly used for surfing. Uh, it gives you that little boost of uh, speed to either help catch a wave or help get out past the break, especially if you got a shoulder injury or you're just tired or a little bit older and uh, want to catch a few more waves. Uh, the boost fin turns on. You take the back end of your screwdriver. There's a little magnet right here, and you hold it there, and you can see it turns on. And then you use your uh, buttons here. Sorry, I think you gotta hold it down for a few seconds to fully turn it on. And you hear a couple other beeps go. And you can see there is the boost. And I press it again to stop, so you would just wear this on your wrist. And I'm gonna press the other button now. You can see it get up to speed. There's really no speed control. It's made for just a, a boost, essentially, when you need it. There is a long boost and a short boost. And it should turn off by itself. Uh, the next product we're going to look at is the E-Fin from Tamarindo Boards. Uh, a little bit more basic packaging. Open it up. You get a kind of a one-pager here with some quick overview instructions of what's in the box, uh, charging time information. There's a full manual you can download from the website there, Tamarindo Boards. Uh, and it has a little bit of disclaimer, basic information. Put this down and slide everything out. A uh, little less frills here in the packaging. Uh, this item again is to get you the most value performance on the water with the least amount of cost. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask why is an electric motor battery so expensive, but there's a lot more to it to waterproof the casing, uh, the speed controller, and all the other components inside the box here. So what you get is one full waterproof box uh, looks like this. It comes with your remote, which this is what you would use to control it. On the box, you have your uh, magnetic safety switch. This is this kind of red circle here. This is your charging port, and this is where you plug in the fin. So you get this little red, red magnet that attaches to this leash that comes with it. When you put that on here, that turns on or activates the unit. Uh, if you were to fall off, this would simply pull off, and that would shut off the motor. So it's a safety feature so that you cannot uh, right off into the sunset and have your board run away from you if you're not attached to it with the leash. Now real quickly it comes with here is your fin. You got about a four foot cord here, waterproof uh, attachments, standard fin box mounting. Uh, Tamarindo Boards does make several uh, adapters for the E-Fin so that it can fit into a slide-in fin box that you see on many inflatables. Uh, the flip lock um, fin box adapter as well as a canoe and kayak adapter which can be used to strap around almost any inflatable, any, any canoe, any kayak. Uh, it does come with one strap in here for the battery box, a few other uh, mounting straps, uh, Velcro strap, and then your charging cables right here. So let's plug this in real quick and get a look at it. It has a specialized fitting, so you got to put it on there and, and either eyeball and line it up, or I just usually twist it until it, it lines up. I'm going to attach my magnetic safety leash here, and you hear a beep. 
and then you can see you're in speed one. There are an arrow up, down, and a stop button on your remote. So if I go into one, I'm in kind of my trolling speed. Now I'm in speed two. Now I'm in speed three. And now I'm in speed four. See, it's a little bit quieter than the boost fan. Um, we've made some improvements over the years uh, with the manufacturer on the motors. Much more quieter, better bearings in there. Uh, the original models were a little bit louder. And then I could also slow down my speed by hitting the down arrow or just pressing the stop button to stop it immediately. So this is great when you're out paddling and cruising around, you can control your speed a little bit. You're gonna get a lot more battery life with the size of the battery that's in here, I believe, than any of the uh, other products. This is really great for paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing. I uh, would not recommend it for surfing whitewater or any, any situation like that. And the third product we're gonna look at today is from Aqua Marine. Uh, this is their electric fin motor. It does come with a nice little case travel bag that has this uh, foam casing inside here comes with a nice uh, remote with a waterproof case uh, you can use little cell phone cases for that but it does come with that here is the battery box uh, it's a little bit smaller a little bit lower capacity one of the benefits it does have a battery meter uh, whereas the other items you kind of have to go off of uh, how long you've been using it uh, here is the electric fin uh, it does have uh, some different uh, adapters. The standard one I believe it comes with is the slide-in adapter or the T adapter you see here, which would go into most of your inflatable boards but it has the uh, little clip on the side. Um, so if you have a hard board, you'd have to get some sort of adapter to fit this into a standard fin box. It does come with a nice little uh, pouch to put your remote in so that you can wear it on your arm. And then you have your chargers and it also has the magnetic safety uh, clip right here that goes right here on the product. Uh, it comes with a couple other little bungee tie downs in case you don't have those on your paddle board. You can use that to uh, strap it around to the board or to the other tie downs. So let's see if we can turn this on and see how it sounds. Connect my controller here. Got a three foot cord on that. Similar setup, um, there's little holes in here that you have to line up with the device. I thought this was a little more tricky. All right, so here we go. We got our magnetic safety switch attached, clipped in right there. Uh, we have our remote right here. It really just has two speeds, a fast and a slow, and then your stop or on or off button. Okay, there's the first one. See, it's pretty quiet. Uh, this unit's a lot heavier, a lot bulkier uh, weight-wise. And there's the second speed. I don't know if you can hear that go up or not. The old breeze from all those. I'm going to look at some of the products in a little bit more detail. Uh, you can see just kind of the profile of them. The Aquamarine product, a lot bigger and bulkier. Uh, the E-Fin and Boost Fin, about the same uh, bulkiness. The uh, E-Fin just has a, a little bit more of a pronounced uh, area in through here, whereas the, the Boost Fin, a little bit smaller of a motor contained right inside there. Uh, the prop size. Boost fin looks like it's just slightly smaller than the E-Fin and then the Aquamarine prop. Uh, the blades look a little bit shorter but a little bit fatter. So not sure how that affects performance but we'll find out uh, here shortly. Uh, the other obvious thing is that the boost fin has no uh, attachment or battery box. It's all contained right in the unit. The E-Fin has a battery box you can see right here um, that houses the battery, the receiver and the speed controller. And then the Aquamarine uh, product has a battery box that's uh, uh, quite a bit smaller, uh, about the same weight though than the other one, um, than the E-Fin here. They all have a detached remote that you can strap to your wrist or, or wear uh, on a wristband or uh, hold in your hand. We'll do a little weight here of the product. So the Boost Fin, fin itself without the attachment is two pounds and 10 ounces. The E-Fin here, I do have a kayak adapter attached to it. Uh, this is where you would strap it into a kayak or canoe or any board that doesn't have a fin box on it with some straps. Uh, that's only a couple of ounces, so we got three pounds and 5.9 ounces. And then the last product, the Aquamarine, which is the heaviest uh, of them all, we've got four pounds, 11 ounces, 11.7, so almost five pounds on that product here uh, being the heaviest. Uh, we'll weigh the battery boxes uh, for the E-Fin here, uh, 7 pounds, 3 ounces, and then the battery box for the Aquamarine, 
product. Two pounds, 13 ounces. We don't have a machine or tool to measure thrust or force, so we're just doing a hold test, kind of physically just feel which one has the most power. Speed two. Three. Ethan definitely has more power. Here is the Aquamarine electric fin taking off. Locked it with a GPS watch, a max speed right around 3.7 miles per hour. This is on an inflatable paddleboard with a hardboard or race board. You will get a little bit more speed. Here's the Ethan taking off. And we clocked that about 4.4 .4 miles per hour on the GPS watch. Here's the boost pin. Steady about 3.2, 3.3. And I get a little more speed, 3.4, 3.5. You might be wondering which of these products is going to be best for me uh, definitely if you're surfing you're probably going to want to go with the boost fin it's really designed for surfing uh, gives you a quick boost of speed to either get out past the break or to catch a wave great if you've got uh, shoulder injuries or just a little bit out of shape or, or getting back into surfing uh, that's going to be what you want to go with uh, between these two uh, products here for paddle boarding uh, i would recommend the e-fin uh, it's a little bit lower cost and you can have a little bit more capacity in the battery, so you get a little bit more value. Whereas for the Aquamarine product, uh, a little bit better packaged, uh, a nicer case, uh, some things that come with it, uh, but you're paying a lot more for those other features that don't really provide additional performance on the water. Uh, the battery's a little bit smaller, but it won't hold quite as long as a charge. Uh, the Aquamarine also only has two speeds, kind of a, a, a medium and then a little bit more medium, whereas the E-Fin has four different speeds, uh, one is kind of trolling, and then two, three, four gets you going pretty fast, probably five or six miles per hour, uh, really depending on the board and the, the wind and, and rider conditions. Uh, you can get about uh, two plus hours on one charge at full speed on one of these. I just know that from experience. Uh, we'll do some testing on the other products. I believe they have some specs on their website as well. Uh, we'll look that up. Uh, but in terms of value for paddleboarding, definitely recommend the, the EFAN. 